packs, Watt 5. We've been working on some other things and we haven't been able to do SWAT or any other videos for 8-bit. We're doing a Doritos Super Bowl commercial and doing a contest crash the Super Bowl. They are almost ready to be submitted and when we do we will post links on the Facebook page. And there's uh, pictures now. We got a bunch of teaser yeah. stills out there for that. So. We're really excited about that. Joel Dreyer. Joel Dreyer Photography. From Joel Dreyer Photography came and helped us do the lighting. He was actually in uh, one of the uh, commercials that we're doing. And basically they are 30 seconds of craziness. We wanted to make it feel like it was five seconds long rather than 30 because there's just so much going on. We had a lot of fun doing it and that's kind of why we haven't really uh, put anything else out on the channel. And what If they pick it, then you'll see it on the Super Bowl. And if they don't pick it, then you'll see it on this channel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Turns out Steve Jobs was right, right Ray? No. Flash for the mobile is dead. Tablets. Tablets, Phones. Android, they'll be throwing in, the, uh, throwing in the towel and halting development on the future mobile versions of Flash for uh, Android and RIMS Playbook and numerous other mobile OS's. They're projecting that this is going to be a pretty major blow to Android. Yeah, because it's always like, well, if you want to have the full web experience, then buy an Android phone because it has a Flash. Flash! Yeah, that, that's their big selling point. Now they, they to me it's funny because it's so slow it doesn't yeah. really work. It's like, yeah, you got Flash, click the download now, do it. It's like, Rrr. and then 10 minutes later, it's like, Rrr. And that's why whenever you go watch YouTube or anything, you have a YouTube app, you know. Flash is, is outdated. Uh, they will still be supporting the current releases. They'll be releasing security fixes, any critical bu bugs they'll keep up with. Who knows how long they'll keep up with that. Yeah. But they are planning on still doing that, so if you enjoy Flash and it's working fine on your device, then you know, you'll have it for a, a while longer. But what nobody's going to do though is they're going to try to make people use Air. Air. But yeah, it does, like we said, it does run on Android, but even on my Thunderbolt, which isn't the newest the new phone, it doesn't run... Single core. <laughs> yeah, single core. <laughs> it doesn't run well. Yeah, it can be buggy. Milo! Say hello, Milo! Keep it on par with uh, the, the mobile discussion. Uh, this is really cool, I think. NVIDIA has uh, released their new uh, Tegra 3 chip, which they're calling PAL-L. <laughs> what I think is funny is that Flash is like, well, mobile devices aren't going to be fast enough, but this is, you know, got a quad-core processor, up to three times as fast as the current yeah. uh, Tegra 2 or whatever. And supposedly uses... Less battery. Yeah, supposedly uses up to 61% less power consumption compared to their old Tegra 2 chip, which is a dual-core. Uh, processor chip, which they really don't have in many phones, and they're already coming out with this. I think the first device they're building this into is the new Asus uh, Transformer Prime tablet. Optimize the tablet! Burr, burr. 12 hours of battery life for HD video playback. That's big! I mean, you think about that, that means you could have that thing on Netflix streaming Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's not on instant watch. Well, if it was on Insta Watch, you could stream the look stream. I could stream the whole stream. thing! Can you stream oh, it? Catch him! 12 hours of battery life for HD video playback. Now, in my mind, it doesn't say continuous, but in my mind, if they're putting it out there like that, that means I can sit here with my uh, tablet, whatever, and stream the full Lord of the Rings. Fellowship of the Ring, which is like three days long, and get through at least 12 hours of it. They're implementing uh, a patented, patented, <laughs> patented, <laughs> patented, <laughs> NVIDIA, <laughs> patented, <laughs> patent, <laughs> they patented, <laughs> even if you say it right, it doesn't sound good, patented, patented, they, they patented, <laughs> patented, Try, you trying to say the word. I bet you can't say it. They made this technology, which is theirs, called symmetric multiprocessing, which gives you a fifth companion core. I wish I could quit you core. <laughs> designed for work and it requires a little, uh, little power. When the companion core is not needed, it'll shut off. So like when you're doing tasks like listening to music or if your background data is syncing, it'll shut down the four main cores and only use the companion core. And for high performance stuff like the web browsing, uh, gaming and things like that, it'll actually shut down the companion core and use the four main ones which supposedly get the 61% less power. Buy uh, pork butt. But <laughs> Buy pork butt! We might put that picture up yeah. so you know what we're talking about. <laughs> so yeah, that's why... Yeah, goodbye. <laughs>